it's all gonna be safe and we're all gonna have a great time what in the jesus christ was that warhammer 40k seems to be one of those shoe wins one of those things where you think by yourself this is perfect for solaris there is space battles there is planets there is an entire galaxy of things yeah you would think that indeed they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine sadly enough there is not that many mods out there so this warhammer total conversion mod will have to do for now now the other question that you may ask is a spec why are you not playing the other warhammer total conversion mod well it's because it does not work you have to expand your empires and you literally cannot go to war now i don't want to be that guy but i am also not a tau player who's too busy having peace and prosperity in the galaxy i would like to have some good crusading going on so yeah here we are back again with the warhammer total conversion mod the original the amazingness i got a new pc let's hope it runs a little bit better this time and there they are the glory of the imperium of man on holy terra because of course they are uh, industrious rapid breeders slow learners and they also have to trade small age plus 200 years for your leaders uh i guess this has to do with all the rejuvenation technology that the imperium of man has got going on but then again they also have a couple of hive cities in the background a theocratic uh theocratic monarchy yeah there is the chad himself the imperium uh, emperor of mankind but then again we also have some chaos going on and that is heretical if i had to ever say it yeah yeah chaos ships you can play with those that's a thing the blood pact the calixis heresy or in this particular case the charisy uh chaos demons in general the chaos heresy some rebels and of course well um yeah dark eldar uh guys don't go to Kamara. it's it's not not a good place to go to the uh craft worlds are here all the fun and games that comes with that a bunch of necrons and of course the logs yeah there's quite a lot of them and we will see quite a lot of them in this here uh playthrough the tower here they're tiny because of course they are they're also the only background that is properly aligned and there is a bunch of tiny little empires that nobody really cares about because they're about to get purged beyond belief anyway we're gonna dive in as the imperium of man we're gonna have the performance start or should we total war start Total War Star. That does sound like it's a fun time. Let's go in and this background immediately brings me back to the wonderful days. And the loading time is already starting to worry me quite significantly. The Imperium of Man is a galactic span spanning interstellar human empire with the ultimate authority of the majority of man, uh, human race within the Milky Way galaxy. I could not have said it myself. Uh, we also have the PC Hive Medium preference, which means that we most likely prefer Hive Worlds. Let us begin. Now, I have been instructed not to touch anything until the first month has passed. So we're going to take our hands off the keyboard and press the space bar and hope that nothing horrible happens. All right, here we go. One. Okay, the game is frozen. Always a good sign. Oh, no. This cannot be good. Oh. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. All right. I can see how this is going. Cool. We got some additional planets. And we are... Oh, it's still frozen. Have we crossed the Rubicon? Yes! Alright, we've crossed the Rubicon. The couple of... I mean, immediately got some uh, some ships, but, uh, you know, uh, a, a couple of things that don't do anything to us is not the end of the world. And, of course, we are immediately at war with everybody, and everybody is at war with everybody. Now, as we spawn in, we are, of course, in the solar system, and there is Holy Mars. What a glorious model this is with the Iron Ring and everything. Here's Holy Terra and Luna, of course. What can we say? We got ourselves a battle fleet in orbit. It is Battle Fleet Solar, and now it's probably a good time to take a look at our planets now we got 10 in the terra system uh well at least in in solar then another 36 over here another 37 over here and that is it thank the thank the emperor emperor be praised we have basically have 80 planets to control all right let's take a look at the map here 
Jesus Christ, what a mess. Okay then, so what are we going to do? Well, we kind of have to take a look at what the situation is here. Uh, we got a ward of Purge Xenos. Uh, we got another ward of, uh, to Purge Charitics, apparently. Purge Dark Eldar. And some more Xenos. Ah, well, there it is. <laughs> uh, this is the part of the mod where uh, the lore dumps start to happen. Uh, so, th oh, oh. Apparently, I can select stuff in the background here. That's quite something. Uh, apparently, we want some lore and current galaxy situation explaining of events. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, the Imperium of Man is here. That's pretty cool. It's very cash money. Look at the giant tank and the heroes of the uh, uh, Militarum, etc. Okay, there's Zinj, Nurgle, Korn, and Slanesh. Okay, there are some orcs and stuff. That's to be expected. Eldar, we don't care about those. Uh, but was, oh god, alright, so, okay, uh, there's the Dark Eldar, the, there, there is the Tau, the, the Necron, uh, these guys, whatever that is, I don't want to know, uh, no, no, Age of Apostasy, seriously, um, are we going to get into this already, the Van Gov uh, Govan Van Dyer stuff? Some crusades, warp travel, turn on your Gellerfields, boys and girls. And finally, there is currently two uh, crusades going on. One in the Calixis sector, uh, probably against orcs, probably not the best of ideas. And there is the uh, continuation of the internal crusade. But as you can see, uh, we are immediately uh, attacked by every single uh, location that we can think of. Because over here, there is a fleet of Bean Teal. Uh, coming in from the craft world, which is definitely... Oh my god, they got 126,000 fleet power. And they're attacking this system over here. Yeah, that looks like to be in like an angry world almost. That's not gonna work very well. And it's also pretty far away. Okay, so where are... There's the Maelstrom. Okay. There are some orcs over here. There's this mess, whatever the hell this is. Uh, the Imperium of Man. Okay, there's a Wog. There's the Imperium of Man again. Is this the... Okay, there's the crap. Oh, there's the Eye of Terror. I was about to say, where is the Eye of Terror? Uh, Plague Planet 1. Because, of course, there has to be a Plague Planet 1. Uh, Plague Planet, there you go. A demon world. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's not good. We're, we're going to need to do something about that. We do have Battlefleet Cadia here, of course. Yes, where is Cadia? Where is Cadia itself? There it is. It has never been broken. The beautiful fortress world of Cadia. We should probably get a governor attached to itself. I do like the giant oval um, fortification business that we got going on here. But we also have Battlefleet Cadia, of course. The most powerful fleet uh, that we could probably muster out of all of these planets. And we have so many... Oh my god, there's... How many planets do we have? Oh my lord. Look, I, I know that... Oh, it, it, the list, it just doesn't end. It, it just does not end. Oh my... Could we... Oh, there, finally... So I know that the Imperium has over a million worlds, but this is getting a little bit ridiculous here. Uh, that is a lot of sectors with a lot of planets. And uh, I am not entirely sure how I'm going to manage all of this. Oh, of course. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's great. That's great. What a great amount of planets we got here. So we're gonna just going to go ahead and ignore all of that. We do have this craft world over here. Uh, 60,000 is not going to be able uh, enough to crack that. But we do have Warfleet Armageddon over here, but there's another Walk Fleet over there. So we're just going to need to throw those into the mix and try to attack that Walk Fleet because, sadly enough, we cannot do much against this craft world, which is somewhat unfortunate. Tell you what, what we'll do is um, we're just going to go ahead and get the fleet from Armageddon and. Uh, Throw in Battlefleet Solar into the mix there. Yeah, we can we can reinforce with Battlefleet Solar because clearly the capital of our empire, Holy Terra, does not need any defenses whatsoever. There is also Titan over here. Uh, this place you've never seen. You don't know about it. We don't talk about it. There is no Grey Knight situation going on here. Nothing important is going on over there. Don't worry about it. It is not ne necessary to do anything. Come on, get out of the way. So many planets. Just like if you if you wonder, like if you want to have a good 
uh, way of deal. It just does. This is gonna I'm, unlock the scroll wheel. Let's go. All right, cool. Um, so if you ever want to play with a, uh, an emperor class battleship, because clearly I can just build those. Uh, if you just want to have a game where you could, for instance, I don't know, simulate what the uh, the high uh, Council of Terra has to deal with. Yeah, then this is probably a good way of dealing with things. I'm also completely running out of food. Uh, clearly, uh, we need to throw more. What am I attacking here? What is this? Calixus Heresy. Okay. Versus 186k. Okay. All right. All right. Spearhead class battleship. Let's just slow the game down a little bit and see what's going on here. Why are there so many wars going on all the time? We got a random fleet over here. The Black Templar Crusade Fleet. Now we're talking. Okay. Can we do anything against this fleet of the... Is this Necron? Yeah, this is Necron. I can't do anything against that with this little firepower. And that's also Necron. Yeah, I'm going to need to fall back here because I sadly do not have... Um, the Militarum to back me up in this little shindig. So, yeah. Oh, what's this? Oh, unrest. A sense of community. Egalitarian ethics attraction. In the Imperium of Man. Yeah, I'm sure that will... I'm sure that will work just fine. We got another walk fleet coming in over here. How big is this? 53k. Nothing we can do about that. I think we kind of overstretched ourselves a little bit on this one. Um, That's a lot of enemy fleets. And I'm having trouble keeping an eye on all my planets. To see where I can actually, you know, build stuff. So uh, let's get some... Uh, we can get some custodies. Screw it. We're just going to build some custodies right off the get-go. Yeah, let's, uh, that, that's done on Luna, so that's good. Uh, let's get some um, medium Imperial Guard armies up and running. They're going to come go with the Custodes. And Mars, can we get some... some uh, oh, whoa, Titans! Yeah, Emperor Titans, let's do it. I'm sure that we can just crank those out. Yeah, we'll throw in some Skitari whilst we're at it as well. Emperor Titans, don't ignore the fact that, you know, we've lost the information on how to build all of this stuff. Oh god, the game is slowing down so much. Oh, oh no. Is it back? Is it back? Oh no. <laughs> oh no, the horribleness is back. The terrible black lines are back and my CPU, my GPU is like, oh no. I have, I have done a terrible concern. Yes, yes you have. Okay, I got a, I got a transport fleet here. What's going on? Well, we're just going to go ahead and invade this orc planet by the way i did not realize this because uh i don't really pay attention to orcs but um some orc got a little bit too enthusiastic with the spray paint and now half the planet is red whether or not it now orbits the star faster is a whole different question but we'll leave that to the orcs slowdowns are still here like overall this mod is is done pretty darn well don't get me wrong oh no oh no the horribleness has returned like, this mod is pretty well done, and I'm really sad that it's gotten gotten orphaned. Like, whether or not Games Workshop came in and were like, Hey, cool mod you have there. That'll be a seasoned assist. Oh, Rebellion. Oh, of course. Sure. Um, apparently, the Ecclesiarchy to the southwest of Terra on a card in a world called Galathamor has decided to rebel. A huge rebellion on our planet. It's supported by a cardinal. Look. I understand that we have a bit of an issue going on here. I don't even know where this is. Um, like, I, I, where is all this stuff? There's the log. Sh sure. Oh, invasions are. Oh, okay, great. We got invasions going on. Is this where this heresy thing was going on earlier on? I think it is. What's this? Imperial Secundus. All right. Yeah. Um. Ah. <sighs> How am I even... Okay, there's the Chaos... Chaos, can you just go in and take down Imperial Secundus in this particular case? It's only three worlds, right? Like, how bad could it be? Battlefleet Cadia, who, by the way, were in attacking the Eye of Terror. I am not entirely sure why a craft world would be in the Eye of Terror. 
Um, because a certain Slanesh is in there who would most likely try to eat them as soon as they could. Ugh, how many... There's just... There's just so many wars going on. All the time. Like, Titan. Okay, cool. Armies. Recruit. You don't see anything. You're not seeing this happening. Groombridge. What a awkward name for a planet. That shall we? Uh, oh, okay. Oh, sure. Another rebellion. I'm, 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 I'm sure that we can handle that. Let's, uh, let's go take a closer look, shall we? Okay, cool. Oh, oh no. Well, ain't that something? Sixty thousand. What have we got here? One hundred forty thousand. Let's take a look. Excuse me? Um... You know, I expected a lot of things in this mod. A Gloriana-class battleship is, was, not, was not one of them. The Eternal Crusader. Yep, yep. Get our fields hot. Let's go. Let's go kill some orcs. Early everybody. Oh, okay, another rebellion. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Uh, oh yeah, sure. Reinforcements. Oh yeah, sure. There's the Wog. Sure. Oh, it's an it's a Wog Alliance. What a delight! How could I not? How could I not foreseen this? Okay. Well, wait. That's the Eternal Crusader, and this is a planet. The the Black Templar. Fortress Monastery. Um. Alrighty then. So, uh, the orcs have the ability to drift their ships, FYI. Uh, they are literally moving sideways. So, uh, they are fully Tokyo drifting at the moment. I wish I was kidding, and I wish the game didn't just randomly freeze up. But yeah, this is probably the most orcish thing that can happen in the <laughs> drifting ships. <laughs> this is so dumb. <laughs> like, I've literally played only one year of gameplay. One friggin' year of gameplay. And more stuff has happened in this one year of gameplay than in an entire normal game of Solaris. And I'm not even kidding. There is stuff coming in from everywhere and it's just impossible to deal with. Plus we've got Craft Worlds on the loose. There's the Imperium Secundus. The chaos is all over the place. Orcs are coming in from all over the shop. Uh, the, the tower sitting in their corner. So bless them for not having to do anything. I'll purge them later. The eye of the the, the the eye of terror is over here. I don't even know what the hell this balkanized garbage is over here. It is a mess. If you want to try out this mod and have a good time, make sure you roll back your version of Stellaris. And uh, yeah, grab it. I'll I'll send the link down in the description below so you can have a good time with it. Because my lord, what a mess of rebellions, garbage. And all that other stuff that is going on. Uh, pick it up. It's the perfect um, the Adeptus Ministratum simulator. Because my lord, the Empire is... <laughs> the Imperium's not doing well in this. <laughs> and it's a miracle that they'll survive to 40, 40k. It's, it's amazing. If you want to watch more fun videos... I posted a video about Fluffy Worlds. Go really check it out. There's a little box on your screen. Go click on it. And then afterwards, go take a look at eating pops. As in, eating other empires. I turn them into food. It's a good time. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, praise the Omnisaya. Because uh, the Imperium of Man is boned.